And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio today at the Brooklyn Wall of Remembrance in Coney Island, Brooklyn at MCU Park. I have a chance to remember Lieutenant Joseph G. Levy from Ladder 15, who is from Pelham, New York, where I'm a native of. I have a chance to talk with one of his friends from the fire department, Rochelle. And Rochelle, tell us a little bit about Joseph Levy. Uh, Joe was a lieutenant in Ladder 15, and he was working that day, sadly. Uh, Joe and Ladder 15 made it to the 78th floor of the South Tower and were operating in unbelievable conditions. But you can hear Joe's transmissions on the radio. Cool, calm, collective, in charge. Um, there was the last word you heard transmitted over the radio was from Ladder 15. Uh, he was a great guy. I loved working with Joe. He's very knowledgeable. He always shared his knowledge with me. He always gave me t tips. I was new to Lower Manhattan. He worked in Manhattan for, for his whole career. And he was very sharing and kind with his knowledge. Um, I enjoyed working with Joe. I was always happy to see Joe when I was working. I knew that I had a friend and a colleague and someone who could help me a lot in the fire department. Absolutely. And he was a very dedicated member of the New York City Fire Department. And just tell us a little bit about why you believe he enjoyed being a fireman, why he was so proud of, of uh, holding that position. Joe um, was very knowledgeable, and he had a great way of working with people. He would talk to everyone. He loved buildings. Um, he, he loved to take his family to the buildings. They'd been to the towers to take Christmas card pictures. He loved working in Manhattan. And I think in his personality... You know, he was a very giving person. He was a churchgoer. He was a family man. And I think that he enjoyed being in the fire department, which is another family for you, but also that you had to help other people. And I know that was at Joe's core. And just a thought about, uh, we remember 16 years ago, that tremendous heroism of fire department members, police officers, all of the different first responder organizations. When you think about the heroism demonstrated that day that saved so many lives, what, what, what comes to mind? I think that um, it's, it was an amazing feat of, of trying to save people, and, and we know they saved thousands. Unfortunately, they couldn't save everyone. They couldn't save themselves. But I know that tomorrow, if it happens again, all of those emergency services, first responders, would do it all over again, because that's what they do it for. They do it to help other people. And I know that some of those people, some of those first responders going into that building thought they may not come out and they still would have, they, you know, they, they still did their jobs. They still protected the citizens of New York. Do you have a final thought about Joseph Levy, your friend from, uh, from the fire department? I, I really do miss Joe. I remember right before this happened, about a month before this happened, we were at a fire and uh, we were there for a very long time. And the, the, the chief kept asking us, you know, where we were in the building. And Joe was always knew where we were. And I was like, Joe, like we've been walking around this building in circles for like an hour. How did you know we were in the northwest corner? And he told me, because you always look out the window, you see where the towers are, and you can figure out where you are from seeing where the tower is located. And afterwards, I felt really empty for not only losing his friendship, but losing that knowledge that Joe would pass on. Little things like that mean a lot. And I really thought that, you know, I've lost Joe and I've lost the towers, and, you know, life wasn't going to be the same. Michelle, thank you very much for your remembrances of Joseph Levy. Uh, Lieutenant Ladder 15, uh, who lived in Pelham, New York, my hometown. We thank you so much. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at the Brooklyn Wall of Remembr Remembrance in Coney Island, Queens.